Okay, okay. So you think it's okay for men to hit women as well? Then? All right, audience, what's up? Today, we're checking out the worst Karen, that vegan teacher. Today, that vegan teacher finds a paparazzi that wants to take a photo of her. However, instead of that happening, vegan teacher decides to spread peace, love, and positivity for the animals instead. And are not yet sorry subscribed. And here's somebody who's disturbing me in the middle of my work. Sorry, sorry to disturb you. Are you the vegan teacher? Yeah, why are you disturbing me in the middle Sorry, of the video? Can I'm just I, curious. Can I just get a picture of you? You want a picture of me? Okay, so we're already starting off this video very goofy. I'm not quite sure why you want to take a photo with the vegan teacher. She's practically looked at as the Antichrist. And for anybody that doesn't know, she's quite literally hated by everybody on the internet. Not exactly a person you want to take a photo with or be around. Uh, how old are you? I'm 16. Okay, do you know much about the dairy industry and the meat industry? Uh, yeah. What do you know? Well, I eat meat and I drink milk, so... Um, do you know what they do to the to the baby um, cows in the dairy industry when you buy ice cream here? What do they do? At this point, I have realized that we have a very weak soldier up against the vegan teacher. Our advocate for the meat industry is going into this battle cold. He's going in naked. The idea that this boy has no idea what happens in the meat and dairy industry honestly surprises me. I am a little scared. I think that vegan teacher is about to take her first victory. Well, they murder the babies. The babies are born and the milk is supposed to be for the babies, right? Mm -hmm. So they steal the milk. I'm making an ice cream here. Did you know that they have a vegan option? Yeah, but uh, I'm not into that. You know? You're not into that? Yeah. Why not? Because, uh, you know, I don't think vegan milk tastes that good. Okay. Are your taste, is your taste pleasure worth more than the animals? If I were the 16 year old boy, I would simply say, hell yeah, and who is gonna stop me? It really is as simple as telling the vegan teacher straight up that, yeah, I know what goes on in the meat and dairy industry, and I'm gonna go ahead and do what I want. This boy has such a great opportunity to make that vegan teacher cry and wail and weep, but he's pissing me off that he's not taking advantage of such a prime opportunity. So if aliens came here, and they took your mom and they pinned her down and they took her milk, you'd be like, that's okay, I get it. Well, I think it's unfair, but they have, uh, if they're stronger than us, you know, they have a right to do so. Okay, okay. So you think it's okay for men to hit women as well then because they're stronger? So you must, you must hit your sister and your mom all the time. Yeah, and you're... You know, I have to give it to that vegan teacher right here. She is making a very good point. But if we say the hypothetically aliens are confirmed real, they're already so technologically advanced and above the law that yes, they can physically do anything that they want. We're under the sovereignty of the law, so we can't technically do anything we want despite being stronger than certain said group. Just a thought that I had. The law is here, so... Sorry? Aliens don't follow our laws. But you yourself just said that because one, if you're stronger, it's okay to pick on but someone who's... I just said it wasn't fair or just. I just said it was... It's just they, the way it they, is. They, well, I mean, yes, in fact, it is just the way it is. You see the court and justice system, and you see unequal standing all the time. Every now and again on Twitter, you'll see somebody getting kneeled on. But you see, vegan teacher, we have a divine right to go ahead and kill and eat animals for our taste pleasure. This woman at this point is foaming at the mouth, and I am living for it. You can stop yourself from contributing to this by buying vegan ice cream or just buying no vegan options, like nothing. Yes, we can start eating the vegan options, but the problem... The problem here is that we would have to start caring. Uh, that's the first thing. And how this conversation is going, I don't think this 16 year old boy cares. And neither do I. Popsicles. You don't want to stop. Yeah. So if somebody was hurting you and I said, hey, listen, you know, you should stop. And that person said, well, I don't want to stop. I would say, oh, okay. By the way, what's your first name? It's Alex. Alex? And I, and I said to that person, let's say it's Bob. Hey, Bob, stop hurting Alex. And he said, I don't want to stop. You, you, uh, you, I'd say, it's okay, Alex. You'd say, oh, it's okay. Well, He's why allowed. Why would they be hurting me in the first place? I feel like I'm watching two buffoons argue at this point. How do we go from talking about vegan ice cream to somebody kicking the ever-living shit out of you? This argument is so pointless. Well, for the same reason that you hurt these baby cows. You just feel I like it. Them. I just you pay them. somebody to do it, right? You so, and you feel like it. So you feel like it for your taste pleasure. Oh, yeah. But what if Bob wants to hurt you? 
just because he likes to hear you scream. Now, if I were quote unquote one of the butchers at a butcher house for animals, I honestly would hate my job and I would hate my life. I'm not quite sure who exactly enjoys the screaming and wailing of animals, but my center point here is let's not forget that animal butchers are not the only people that kill animals. PETA themselves are also a huge contributor to the death of animals. You know, the same thing that you defend, Katie? See, look at me. Here's your hearing. He likes to see you suffer, okay? You, here's your, here's your other taste pleasure, okay? This is taste. Okay. So Bob wants to hurt you because he likes to hear you scream and see you suffer. You, with your taste right here, right near your eyes and your ears, you want to taste the flesh of animals but, uh, by eating them. I don't, I don't and think, you're okay with that, you said. I don't think human conflict uh, is the same as human account. Listen, uh, my friends are about to go, so is it okay yeah. if we just... Uh, so why did you want to take a picture of me? I don't know, I just... It's, you're like a celebrity around these parts. So, I'm so why would you want to take a picture of a celebrity? I wouldn't really qualify that vegan teacher to be celebrity status. She's more of just an infamous person. I mean, if I saw that vegan teacher, I would obviously take a picture with her because I would love to post it and be like, hey guys, <laughs> look who I took a picture with. Get a good look at the scarecrow. Parts, so so why would you want to take a picture of a celebrity? What because I'm curious. you know, they're cool, you know? I'm cool? Yeah, I'm cool? cool yeah. I was like, why do you think I'm cool? Yeah, Miss Katie, you're, uh, you're very cool. I've never seen a kid cap more in my entire life than this moment here. You don't have to lie, kid. You can tell vegan teacher she's scum of the earth and she smells like shit. There's been at least 100,000 videos talking about the vegan teacher. You're not gonna hurt her feelings if you tell her that she's a sh person. Because ad you advocate for what you believe in. I respect it, you know? Okay, well, thank you for that. I appreciate that. And, and you? I'm, I'm his friend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he just kind of mentioned that he saw you, and I was like, is that actually the vegan teacher? I, was, I don't know. He just kind of okay. checked it out. Okay. How do you know me? It. Uh, through him. Oh, wow. He starts showing signs of being vegan fantastic. I mean, I agree with what the kid's saying, but I don't think that makes him any vegan fantastic. I respect vegan teacher for what she does. Does that make me fantastic? Oh, hell no. That vegan teacher smells like sh That doesn't make me vegan fantastic. Kinda, uh, oh, you honest. didn't know me before? No, no. no, no. I didn't. So like, who the hell is that? I was like, oh, okay. Right. And did you, I guess, you used to follow my TikTok? No, or? I was just, uh, I would just see you around on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah on TikTok. Okay. Well, I just got the the TikTok accounts of a couple of three kids from Clearpoint who were like, yeah, they were pretty cool. Like you guys look, I know it's hard to hear the message. I know nobody wants to to hear that they're a bad person because they're contributing to this, but I'm just trying to get the conversation going just to make you yeah, think yeah. about it, you know? I know it's hard. I know you have a bit of a hard time making eye contact with me. It's like, why I just want to get her picture. Why is she talking to me about no, it? But you know, I, I'm here for one reason only on social media. That's to raise attention to the issue, to make you think a bit, you know. So if you want your picture taken, you can just, um, we can take a group picture. And, and the fact of the matter is that nobody cares and nobody's going to care about your life. And you have a very unsuccessful career. Anyways, audience, that's all I have for today. Please click the video on screen. I promise you'll love it. But anyways, yeah, subscribe.